Hello all, in this particular tutorial, we will learn how to install IBM DB2 11.5.8 client on Windows Server 2022. You will ask why do we need to have a client? Most of the time, the application server is not the same as the database server and application server needs to connect to the DB2 database hosted on a different server and that's where the client package comes into the picture. The client package, the DB2 client allows the application server to communicate to the DB2 database hosted on a different database server. The steps mentioned here are done on Windows Server 2022. However, these particular steps will work on Windows 10, Windows 2016 and Windows 2019, 2022 as you would like. Now, to, before, before we set up the client, we need to do some changes at the DB2 database server for the DB2 instance to communicate to the it, it should be able to communicate to the client. So it, we need to make sure that it is listening. And to do that, we need to update two parameters. One is the database manager config parameter called service name. And another is the registry parameter called db2.com. We need to set the service name to the port value and db2.com to TCP IP value TCP IP using the db2 set command. Once this is done, to make sure that these particular parameters are effective, we should we should be starting and stopping. So we'll stop and start the DB2 instance using DB2 stop followed by DB2 start. Once this is done, our database instance, our database, so these are the steps at the database server. These are the only steps that you need to do. This is one-time configuration. Once you have done this, then the database instance is ready to accept the com connections from the client. You can safely log off from the from the database server and rest of the steps are on the client machine. So what we need is we need to download the DB2 client from IBM website. It's this particular package. You, you have to have an IBM ID. If you don't have one, sign up using your, using your personal email account or work email account to download the DB2 client. Once the DB2 client is downloaded, unzip that particular software and then use the setup.exe you will find that wherever you have unzipped that particular software you will find a setup.exe use the setup.exe to install the db2 client all good so at this moment the client is installed we are now ready to connect to our database instance and first thing that we need to do is we need to use the command catalog tcp ip node to catalog the node then we need to catalog the database using catalog database command then we need to refresh the directory cache using terminate command and then we should we should be able to and if all of this is successful if there are no errors then you should be able to connect to the database using connect to statement let's look at these particular steps in detail so these are the steps at the database server level these are the only steps at the server level where i mentioned that you need to change the two parameters service name and db2.com Service name is the port value. So I'm here using 5001. Use the port which is not used in the on that particular server. And as per your organization standards, use the port for the DB2 instance. Then we will tell DB2 that we want to use the TCP IP as the communication protocol. So db2.com is equal to TCP IP. Once you have set this way, values, stop and start the instance. This is the work that we have to do at the main database server. Once this is done, you are okay to log off from your main database server. Go to your client. Now, first thing that we need to do is we need to download the client. So once you have downloaded the client, unzip the client and under, under that, you will find a utility called setup.exe. Use that particular utility setup.exe to install the DB2 client. The DB2, once the DB2 client is installed, First thing is catalog the node. So we will use DB2 catalog TCP IP node, node name. The node name can be anything of your choice. This is your choice. Remote IP address. This is where IP address or host name. So here, this is the IP address of the database server or the host name. You can specify the host name of the database server and then on which port it is listening the instance. So this is the same port that you used. Here, this is the same port that you need to specify here. Once the node is cataloged, go ahead and catalog the database using the db2 catalog database, database name as alias at node. So this is the node. So here, win22 will get replaced here. So catalog database test. And 
edge alias is optional if you don't specify the edge alias whatever is the name of the database gets becomes the alias name at this moment we are ready to connect to the database so we'll say connect to name of the database user who which user want to connect using password and using the get connection state we will verify that our connection is successful now that we have seen everything let's let's start with actual tutorial so on the database server so on the database server log so the instance is currently stopped so let's start that particular instance but we need to we need to do some changes so let's start that let's think that it is already started and what we need to do is let me clear the screen so two parameters we need to change one is the service name so update dbm config using svce name to a value of 5001 that's done it says we need to do the start and stop i have i'm aware of this and the second variable that we are going to set is db2 set db2 com is equal to tcp ip now or oh, and i'm going to set it at the instance level so i'll use minus i so now i'm going to say db2 stop and i'm going to say db2 start and then i'm going to use a command the operating system command net that minus a n find str listen and let's look at find str five triple zero one and you can see five triple zero one is listening right now it is up the port is open all good we are good to log off from the database server but however i'll keep it and before doing something else just show you that db2 list application shows that there is no connection and the ip of this machine is 192.168.1.1.122 so the ip of this particular machine is 192.168.1.122 the same ip you can see here 192.168.1.122 so this ip remember this particular ip now let's go to the let's go to the uh, browser and search for ibm db2 data server client 11.5.8 you can see that we got this particular link ibm data server client packages click on that particular link and then it it will give us the necessary 11.5.8 packages choose ntx64 client ntx64 this is the windows 64-bit client 11.5.8 you can see that and you, i'm going to say continue and once that is done it is going to give me this particular link this is the 11 point it's a 641 mb package click on that is and it will start downloading in the background it will start downloading in the background and you can see it has started downloading it's a 641 package it's going to take some time i have already downloaded that so i'm going to close this particular window i'm going to cancel this because i've already downloaded it and let me go to the client now and this is where i've kept it so this is the second server with the ip of 192.168 this is the client server there is no ibm db2 installed as you can see there is no ibm db2 installed what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this run as admin and then it's going to ask me where it is going to ask me to extract i'm going to say extract to e drive and then if you see here a folder called client a directory called client appeared let it get unzipped and that should not take much time so that's done close this go to the client and you can see a small executable called setup use that particular executable run right click on it run as admin right click on is run as admin close this and here it says welcome to ibm data server 11.5.8 let's choose install a product and choose this ibm data server client version 11.5.8 install new and then you know we have to click next 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 give it a minute and click on next i accept click on next typical compact custom based on you know compact means the minimal custom means 
You can choose the feature typical means based on what IBM thinks are the most important components it will install. I'll choose typical. Install, just install, just save the response file or install and save the response file. I'll go with this particular option, the default option where you want to install the DB2 client. We are okay. Program files, IBM SQL lib. We are okay with that. Click on next. If you want to enable the operating system security, you can enable based on your organization standards. If you don't want to enable, it's fine. I'm going to uncheck it. But again, in your organization standards, make sure you enable it. Click on next. Click on look at the summary. If all looks good, if everything looks good, click on the finish. And if all goes good, so you can see there is no IBM DB2 package. Once the client is installed, which is going to take some time, once the client is installed, we should be able to see an IBM DB2 package here. It's 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 a it's going to take some time because it's going to configure the default DB2. Yeah, you can see IBM DB2 client has appeared here. So wait for this particular setup to complete. Give it a minute. And is now configured. So that's good. Configuring the default DB2 copy. Just give it a minute. Otherwise, let me pause this. And that looks good. Remember one thing that I mentioned that try to disable the antivirus before installing it. Antivirus might sometime might sometime interfere with the installation process. So if you have antivirus running on your servers, disable it for the time being before the install. Once the install is complete, you can re-enable that. So now that the, the setup is complete, you can see the setup is complete. Click on next, click on finish. All good. So now I'm going to close this and launch launch IBM DB2, IBM DB2 command window administrator. And what I'm going to do is for you to see clearly because I can't see this clearly. I'm going to make a font a little bit bigger so that, okay, so that looks good. And I'm going to clean this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say DB2 get instance, a client automatically, a instance called DB2 gets created. If I show you DB2 LICM minus L, you can see it's an IBM data server client, DB2 client 11.5. And if I run DB2 level, this particular version is 11.5.8. All good. Now, what we need to do is we need to establish the connectivity. There are two commands that we need to run. One is catalog node and one is catalog the database. First, before cataloging the node, let's look at if there is any node on our machine. List node directory is the command to look at the node. This should show empty. The node directory cannot be found because we have not cataloged any node. So let's go ahead and say db2 catalog tcp ip node give whatever name you want so let's say win 22 remote give the ip address of your database server which is 192.168.1.122 remember the ip address of this machine is 123 I'll, I'll show it to you so if i open another command prompt and if i run ip config and if I run point str IPv4, you can see this particular machine has got IP of 123 and we are trying to connect to a database server hosted on 122. So and then server is nothing but the port number, which is 5001. Now let's run the DB2 list node directory once again. And you can see the node directory cannot be found. The same command gives us one node, one node, which is Win 92, that is one node with a TCP IP protocol have can, trying to communicate with 122 at port 5001. All good. Now it's time. Let me clear the screen. Now it's time to catalog the database. So before cataloging, I'll say list database directory. And this particular command is exactly same as list DB directory. Both are exactly same. So you can see that I do not have a database directory or a DB directory. So what we'll do is like we'll say catalog database test and which node is at node and the node name that we used to catalog the node was win22 that's done run the db2 list database directory and you can see we now this particular command is giving us that there is one database called test it's a remote database it's not on this machine it's a remote database 
all good now what we, what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back to the main server and run db2 list applications no data was returned no data was returned by the by the database system monitor go to the client let's say db2 connect to test user db2 admin using the password of db2 admin there's a spelling mistake here let me correct it and if and looks like it is connected but and let's let me do something let me connect reset this particular connection and you know i'm going to do something i'm going to show db2 get i'm going to show you db2 get connection state it says connectable and unconnected now let me run the db2 connect to name of the database user db2 admin using the password of this particular user enter and once that is done let's see the db2 get connection state let's run that particular command and now here we said i'm connected now it says i'm connected at this particular box on this particular port on and to this database and let's go back to our main database server and if I now run the db2 list application, if I run the db2 list application, we should be able to see one connection and that connection is coming from 123. Remember the IP of this is 122. So 123 is making a connection to our database server. So with that, we have successfully enabled our client to communicate to the database server. The steps were pretty simple. We, we have to do some changes at the database server service name and db2.com that's the one time and then when all that we need to do is install the client catalog the node catalog the database terminate and connect that's all that we need to do thank you for watching see you in next tutorial in this particular tutorial you learned how to install ibm db2 11.5.8 client on windows server 2022 the steps mentioned here will work on windows server 2016 windows server 2019 windows server 2022 they will also work on windows 10 i do not know whether the 11.5.8 is supported on windows 2012 windows 2012 is officially out of support from microsoft if you are still using it it's better to upgrade to the either windows 2016 2019 or 2022 i hope this tutorial was useful thank you for watching if you find the channel interesting if you find the content interesting do hit the subscribe button and see you in next tutorial bye bye